In this video, we'll cover simple subqueries that return a scalar. We'll use the Northwind database, and we'll start by just looking at the products table. And uh, suppose we want to show all the products with above average unit price. In other words, products that are special compared to the group, special in that they're above the average of the group. Now we can find the average by uh, selecting average, uh, 2865, but that just gives us the value. We don't really know which products they are. So let's say I wanted to find something about each product, but also look at the average for the whole group, but that doesn't work because it's going to ask that I group by the product. And when I do that, if I group by the product ID, then I see a record for every product ID. And then how do I limit it to just the records where the unit price is greater than the average? And uh, it won't run that either, saying that I can't have a uh, average function, an aggregate function in the where clause. So how about if I try it in the having? Well, I can't really have unit price. Now it's complaining because unit price should be in the where clause rather than having. So, so basically all of those are dead ends and we need to use a subquery to find this out. So let's look at the average again and see that value. And if I was to, to copy that value and use it in a subsequent query, I could get all of the products that are above 2865. But I've hard-coded that and I took two steps to do it. And if I was in a very dynamic environment, the average value, this 2865, would have changed in the time between the execution of the two select statements. So what we'd really like to do is have these two queries executed as a single query and let's look at this again to see how we can make that work. If I select the average unit price, uh, that gives me a one row and one column table. And just let's convince ourselves that this is always going to give us something like that. It's always going to have one row and one column. So what happens if um, I just take all of the null unit prices and calculate the average? I still have a one row, one column table. It just has a null value in it. And if I, let's say that I have um, how many of those, or just to prove that I actually have a price that is uh, a null. So this is the average of one record where the unit price is, is null. But I get a one row, one column table. Um, what happens if there's no records in the table or no records that satisfy the WHERE clause? Do I still get a one row, one column? Yes, I do. So um, what's cool is in SQL you can interchange or exchange a one row, one column table for a scalar value, which was what we need in this query, right? So right here I have this value that I'd really like to replace with a dynamic uh, runtime value. So this is the scalar value and we're going to replace that with the subquery. So this exact same subquery, and notice that I'm just going to highlight it and run it independently of the outer query and then I'm going to run it as a part of the outer query and notice that I have uh, all the above average unit prices. So this is the syntax. I have a, a field here, greater than, and then this subquery in parentheses uh, has to be something that will return a one row, one column table. And notice that this is all executed as a single query and there's no time uh, between the execution of those two pieces. So this is called a simple scalar subquery. Uh, it's a subquery because it's a fully formed select statement. Uh, it's scalar because it's used in place of a scalar, and in SQL you can use a one row, one column table in place of a scalar. And it's simple because it can be executed independently of the outer query. So uh, for another video, we'll cover correlated subqueries that are not independent of the outer query. So a couple of caveats. You can't put an order by in the subquery. 
you can't also rename columns in the subquery. And uh, really, a subquery is, is kind of hidden from the result, so it, it doesn't make much sense anyway to have uh, you know, a column name or an order by in the subquery of a WHERE clause. So here's a couple of uh, more examples, and just realize that the idea behind these simple subqueries is that you're selecting records that are special relative to the group. So this is uh, a subquery for the highest price product. So relative to the group, this is the maximum, and this is the product that is the maximum. Uh, note that I could have more than one product that has the maximum unit price. So in this case, I could have two products uh, at that price. Uh, here is the lowest price product at 250. Again, I could have multiple. Here are the below average. Uh, here are products that are more than two standard deviations above the average. So these are kind of upper end outliers. And here is a more complex one where I have two subqueries. Um, these are outliers in that they could be two above, more than two standard deviations above the average, or more than two standard deviations below the average. And it just so happens in our data set, uh, nothing is a lower end outlier. And that's the end of simple scalar subqueries. Thanks.